June 30th, 2018. It's a summer evening in Savannah, Georgia, at a popular pizza joint called Vinnie Van Gogo's. So this is a party spot. A lot of people go, they drink, they get a little rowdy. A security camera records a waitress in the middle of a busy shift. Her back is turned. She's not really focused on what's going on around her, let alone behind her. A male customer starts to walk past her. He looks like a typical patron. Maybe he's going to the bathroom or he's going up to the bar. You really think nothing of it. But then the man does something shocking. This man walks by and just grabs her from the behind. It all happens so fast. It's shocking that we're actually seeing this unfold. This is just simply wrong. Does this man know the waitress? Is he drunk? Why does he think this behavior is OK? It's a way of feeling more macho, more manly. Just by groping someone, you are basically taking a position of power. But this waitress isn't about to let him get away with this. She immediately charges after him. She's like, not today. I'm taking my power back. She grabs him by the collar, puts him in a headlock, and in one swoop, the 115-pound waitress slams the groper against a wall. She bends him around and body slams him right down to the ground. Stunned patrons look on as she tells the man off and then asks someone to call the police. He thought he was just going to grab this waitress and keep on walking and nobody would be the wiser. But now he's slammed to the ground, all eyes on him. Restaurant employees make sure the groper remains on scene until police arrive. Hey, ma'am. Hey, I'm Officer Wilson. I'm the primary officer. I'm setting the menus down, and he came up behind me and just took a handful. Okay. After reviewing the surveillance footage, police arrest the man for sexual battery and place him in handcuffs. All right, man, do me a favor. Go ahead and place your hands on your back for me. All right, it's on video. Managers witnessed it. Everyone else, too, OK? So right now, you're going to be placed under arrest, all right? But the story doesn't end there. Because it turns out the man isn't at the restaurant alone. Who's this lady? I'm not sure who she is. Who are you? Are you? Beyonce. Beyonce. Shockingly, before groping the waitress, he had been eating dinner with his fiance and their two children. He clearly has to be embarrassed. They're going to know exactly what he did. Who is this man? Why is he behaving this way in front of his own fiance? And what is going to happen next? It gets really complicated really quickly. A Georgia waitress took matters into her own hands when a man groped her. When a man inappropriately grabs a waitress in a Savannah restaurant, she swiftly takes him down with a headlock and body slam. The woman the man groped is 21-year-old Amelia Holden. She's been a waitress for five years and is just finishing up a long shift when the shocking ordeal unfolds. I was actually talking to my coworker about how I was ready to go home. And then I got another table. I took an order, and that's when the incident happened. I was putting the menus away, and I felt someone grab my butt. And my initial thought was, this has to be one of my coworkers. But when Amelia turns around and realizes it's a total stranger, she isn't having it. And that's when I just kind of reacted. Then things happen in a lightning fast blur as she throws the man against the wall. Just kind of felt like an out of body experience. I've never done anything like that. I've never had any sort of defense training. I guess it was just all instinct. <laughs> While the defeated man sinks to the floor in a daze, Amelia caps off her astonishing maneuvers with a message. I kind of leaned over and was like, you don't touch me. Amelia says the reason she reacted so strongly is because she got fed up with how often male customers were harassing her and her female coworkers. There have been so many times where we have been verbally harassed physically harass. Sometimes people go to these bars and they view waitresses and servers as being like objects that are there to entertain them, to degrade. And so, you know, I'm not surprised that some of the servers were feeling like, hey, this has got to stop. 
Restaurant employees are often told by law enforcement that there is little they can do. Normally in crimes like this, they're not videotaped. And if they are videotaped, that perpetrator's in the wind. And it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. But Amelia's manager had decided to install security cameras around the restaurant only a few weeks before she was assaulted. The man caught on camera turns out to be 31-year-old Ryan Cherwinski, a grocery store worker visiting from Florida. He's arrested for sexual battery and then tries to blame Amelia for his behavior. It wasn't intentional. I was just trying to walk down the aisle, and she was in the way. I understand she gets a lot of customers. I'm not a You can explain that when you get your court date, all right? His initial reaction was that he didn't do anything, and then it kind of turned into, well, I didn't mean to. It was never like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Next, he shifts gears from aggressive to pitiful. Hey, man, everything's going to be all right. Not. He even pleads with the officer to let him speak with Amelia. Can you bring her out here? Who? The lady that I, I apparently offended? Uh, no, she doesn't want to see you, man. Can I, can I apologize to her? You can explain that when you get your court date, all right? Surprisingly, Cherwinski's fiance, who was eating dinner with him at the restaurant, tries to defend him. Can we, like, pull, like, the whole video? I understand that you're upset. I'm saying it's but this is what we have to and soon, Cherwinski is taken away from the scene. Transporting one white male from Benny Van Gogh's. Obviously, he's going to jail, so the felony, so. All right. All right. And in August of 2018, the father of two is sentenced to 11 months probation and banned from returning to Savannah's Chatham County. The fact that he was arrested for this sends a clear message that this type of behavior will not be tolerated. Still, Amelia is relieved that the dad doesn't get a tougher sentence. When I found out that he is a father of two children, I was a little relieved his sentencing wasn't as harsh as it could have been. Meanwhile, the video of Amelia body slamming her groper quickly goes viral, racking up over 4 million views. I had people from the UK messaging me, people from Hungary. And even attracts the attention of late night TV hosts. She grabbed that man and threw him to the ground. Check this out. She didn't even drop her notepad. <laughs> this woman is an amazing server. 